सदाशिव सरंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपराम ओ नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि चैप्टर टू पेज नंबर सिक्सटी टू वर्स नंबर फोर्टी टू आर्तमृशे नीति नीति चाशकृत वदंती निर्गुण ब्रह्म कथम श्रुतिपेक्ष स्मॉल करेक्शन इन द सेकंड लाइन श्रुति ही उपेक्ष्य दट दीर्घम श्रुति रूपेक्ष इज देर श्रुति रूपेक्ष शाटुकार श्रुति रूपेक्ष सुरेशाचार्य ट्रयिंग टू ट्रयिंग टू मीन इट इज वेरी टर्स टू understand about the individual nature one's own nature through tvampada vichara he is trying to enlighten us the tvampada vichara if you understand who are you then who is ishvara what is the relation between you and tatpada and tvampada you can understand so tvampada vichara is very very important whenever a person says i want to know god i want to attain god i want to get moksha i want to get salvation i want to get liberation different words people use from religious angle and philosophical angle also the words they may use differently but that theme the central theme of that entire vedic teaching is only one that it says jeevo brahmaiva naparaha you the jeeva is none other than already brahman you need not attain brahman you need not attain brahman you recognize you are already brahman that is the teaching it's amazing teaching finally it says what you are searching for what you are searching for is yourself only that is why in one of my talk guru purnima talk it is available on website youtube seeker to seer i said sadhaka the seeker has to recognize one day removing that k uh, seeker seer <laughs> so that type of uh, understanding finally upanishad presents to us so all the way it takes us the uh, along with it so that uh, fortunate people like you like us we walk along with this upanishadic teaching and great teachers like sureshwara acharya shankara acharya and vidyaranya many many jains like uh, advaita acharyas they beautifully educate enlighten through their teachings how sureshwara acharya enlightening us doing the tvam pada vichara atma you are that anatma you are not so just as uh, the doctor want to do main surgery what they do first they do check up and all bp check up uh, ecg check up uh, and pulse rate uh, so many other minor check ups they do and how the kidney is functioning liver function all the functions of other systems also in the body they check up they monitor after that uh, alone they want to remove that unwanted either appendix it is appendicectomy or tonsillitis tonsils or any tumor in the 
uh, in the body or any hysterectomy removing the uterus all anything removal they can do only after doing um, so many other tests so the person is ready for that operation or not they have to see so the final operation comes very much later hmm? so the preparation is so much that operation they start very much later like that here also that Sureshwara Acharya doing that type of operation first uh, he negated uh, Sula Shariram you are not the Sula Shariram then he has come to Sukshma Shariram in that Sukshma Shariram also there is no problem with the sense organs prana and intellect the samsara is as a notion a misconception i am a samsari i am a papi i am having this problem that problem is a notion it's a misconception that is in the form of thought that thought is in the mind so that mind is there is an ahankara i am that bhavana i aham pratyaya ahankara is in the mind that he is uh, focusing upon so therefore ahankara is also a part of the body mind complex drishyatvat so whenever we say the mind is associated with the current body means in the form of thought arise there because of chidabhasa so the mind is associated with the current body only Ahankara is also this I notion where it rises in this Ahankara I notion is also associated with the current body only. So the notional correction alone is called uh, um, Moksha, notional correction. You can never imagine notional correction is Moksha. Yes, notional correction alone is Moksha. You need not do anything. But perspective change is required. That perspective change comes by grasping the teaching systematically. So therefore, here he says, Shruti support, he uh, takes here, um, what Shruti, Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, Ushastha Brahmanam, and this Artham word comes in three Brahmanams. What are they? Artham occurs in 3, 4, 2. I said that is Ushastha Brahmana. Then 3, 5, 1, Brhadaranya Kopanishad. Kahola Brahmana, it comes. Again 7, 2, uh, 3, 7, 23. All in 3 chapters, no, third chapter only, you see. 3, 4, 2, 3, 5, 1, 3, 7, 23. That is Antaryami Brahmana. In three places this Artham word comes. I said what is Artham? Entire Anatma is Artham. Your Ahankara is Artham. Artham means what? Alpam. Alpam means what is the translation we did in the last class? Alpam means Mithya. Alpam means Mithya. So therefore, Anyat else whatever else is there anyat consciousness other than consciousness ata ata atonyat artham mantra comes atonyat artham ataha anyat other than the self everything else is alpam mithya that is the meaning of artham so the mind is also included in that uh, mithya or alpam ahankara is also included in that alpam or mithya so consciousness is self-evident and ahankara is not self-evident it is jadam by itself therefore atma the consciousness is ever the observer that is the nanyo tosti manta, nanyo tosti drashta, nanyo tosti gnata. Like that the mantra goes <coughs> in that um, 
um, 42 he gives uh, Shruti support then 43 he gives uh, Smriti support so next word what is Brihadaranyakam itself <coughs> suppose Purva Pakshi asks how can you say that al Artham is Alpam and Alpam is Mithya how you are translating Alpam means inferior Alpa Satyam why can't you say Atma is Satyam Ahankara is Alpa Satyam you can say so like that why to say At Alpam is translating Alpam as uh, Mithya where it is said uh, you are only translating Puro Pakshi asks suppose like scientists all <laughs> is they talk consciousness uh, is born because of matter combination matter is first for them matter is fundamental for scientists for us consciousness is fundamental matter is doesn't matter for us matter is only the power of consciousness it is brahman consciousness its power is maya matter but scientists what they say because of matter some combination later consciousness is born they say but we don't accept that we show this mantra here this is the pramanam how consciousness is bo not born 4323 um, that says na lopo vidyate avinashi nahi Natu tad anyat sarvam Natu anyat nasti The other thing is not there Why you say mithya na For that neti neti word we use That we use means Upanishad is using That atma is satyam Ahankara is mithya What do you mean by mithya here? They say Consciousness is having arrival and departure. Before science is coming, modern science, Atma was there. Before science was coming, Atma was there. No, so all the inventions they are doing uh, in the consciousness alone. So therefore, lot of confusion for people regarding consciousness. You get correct answer only in Upanishads. <coughs> Therefore, Mithya Ahankara cannot be the part of Satya Atma. How can you say so? Means because Upanishad says negation. Neti neti iti. Naidam naidam. Neti neti iti cha asakrit. Many times, four times I told you in the last class numbers also, I have given how many places it comes that um, neti neti vakyam and uh, nirgunam brahma vadanti what Shruti says about the two statements <coughs> in brihadar and kopanishad often asakrit often repeatedly upanishad is telling artham came four times neti has come four times repeatedly when it comes what is Shadlinga Asla? One is um, Abhyasa. Wherever the repetition comes, there you understand the Tatparyam. This is called Abhyasa. You look, see that uh, how many times these two words are coming. Artham and Neti Neti. Therefore, it is called Abhyasa repetition. This repetition is uh, showing that there is tatparyam nirgunam brahma vadanti here vadanti is an adjective to shruti vadanti present active participle vadanti ikarantaha strilinga because shruti is strilinga feminine gender therefore vadanti is also strilinga nirgunam brahma the pure attributeless Brahman is presented by the Upanishad. 
Nirgunam is also an adjective to Brahma. What type of Brahma? Upanishads reveal a Brahman who is Etad Adresha Magrahim Avotram Avarnam Ajakshu. Attributeless Brahma. Nirgunam Brahma. Gunarahitam Brahma. Then Katham Shrutihi Upekshate. How can you ignore such a statements given by that Upanishads? How can you ignore? How can you be complacent with regard to these statements? It is not fair on your part. We take answer to the Puropakshi with the support of the Shruti. We have established that. So Mithya, we are not telling. Upanishad is telling. It is Mithya. All philosophers bounce at Advaitin. Hmm? You cannot say easily everything is Mithya, Mithya, Mithya. So, Atma is Mahasatyam, Hankara is Alpasatyam. If you say we are very happy. Then Acharya says we cannot say it is Alpasatyam. Alpasatyam is Mithya Nartham. You have to understand. So, because of Idam Na, Idam Na means what? This world, this body, this mind, this ahankara, na, atma, it is not atma, that is the idea. Up to here we saw in the last class and we will go to the next verse 43. Here Lord Krishna's quotation is cited here by Sureshwar Acharya. Mahabhūtānyahaṅkāraḥ Ityetakṣetramuchyate Nadrśerdvaitayogosti Vishveshwaramatādapi Vishveshwaramatādapi Here Vishveshwaramatam means don't think there is another matam called Vishveshwaramatam. Here Vishveshwara means Lord Krishna. Vishveshwara. Lord Krishna, Matam means here teaching. Through Lord Krishna's teaching also we come to know where recently we completed 13th chapter. Mahabhutanya Hankaraha. It is inverted commas they have given. That is the shloka from 13th chapter. Then 5 and 6 shlokas. 5 and 6. Aham Mahabhutanya Hankaraha Buddhira Vyakta Mevacha Indriyani Dashai Kancha Pancha Chendriya Gocharaha Icha Dvesha Sukham Dukham Sangha Kascheta Nadhruti Eta Kshetram Samasena Savikara Mudahrutam What word has come in this? Mahabhutani Ahankaraha so, Hankara Kshetra Mitya Vidhiyate. So, Hankara comes in Kshetram only, Bhagavan said. The world is also come under Kshetram. Kshetram is uh, matter. Kshetra Gnaha is the knower of the matter. Kshetram. Therefore, Hankara comes under Kshetram. Mahabhutani Hankara Iti. Etat Kshetra Muchyate. It is said by Lord Krishna, Vishveshwara Matadapi, Ahankaraha Kshetram Iti Ujjate. What is the reason? Na Drishehe Dvaita Yogosti. Yogaha means here uh, association. Dvaita Yogaha. Dvaita means Ahankaram. Yogaha means Sambandaha. Dvaita Sambandha Drishehe with Atma, Advaita Atma cannot have Sambandha association with Ahankara. Ahankara is known as Dvaitam here. Why? In Ahankara only Dvaitam comes. I hope you don't ask me what is Ahankara. Don't take Ahankara means ego. We use in Telugu also Ahankara and Grumba Ahankara. Pride is different. The here Ahankara means not pride. Aham, Aham, Iti Karoti, Iti Ahankara. Non, non, non. 
నేను 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 అని ఎవ్రీ యాక్షన్ బిగిన్స్ విత్ నాన్ ఐ యామ్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ అహంకార హియర్ so that ahankara comes from my son my daughter my house my car my money everything mine 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 so much of dvaitam duality so the dvaitam is equal to ahankara ahankara is equal to dvaitam so it cannot have an association drishehe dvaitat yoga ha drishi means here atma with atma it cannot have any association who cannot have any association ahankara if ahankara is a part of atma suppose hmm? you are arguing so much oh puro pakshi ahankara is a part of so many ways he is trying to keep the ahankara along with the atma so we are telling if you as long as you hold on to ahankara make use of it but uh, don't give reality to that don't give reality to that there is no problem in making use of that ahankara the lower i for worldly interactions you how to interact but where is the problem problem is only when you give reality to that ahankara and identify with that ahankara and continuing with that uh, reality dvaitam as uh, your own nature that is the cause of samsara that you have to drop so really speaking ahankara is a privilege it is a privilege to human being once you oh, remove your misconception regarding that ahankara it is a beautiful uh, uh, wonderful tool for interacting the world so therefore that's why gnanis happily interact with the world with the ahankara only anyone can interact with the world because pure atma cannot interact with the world body mind complex as long as you want to interact you have to make use of ahankara understand here all you negate 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 means what is this vedanta telling give up this drop this drop this in dropping means um, when you are in spiritual sadhana in the beginning to make your mind um, um, to focus on shastra you require some sort of solitude your mind need some focusing point on the subject that is why at that time initial stages just like a seed when you sow that plant is coming when that time you put fencing you put a strong fencing like that in initial stages shastra says you have to put fencing like reduce talking reduce the interactions reduce uh, all obligations all of them reduce 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 drop almost once you study shastra understand shastra you jump into interaction again in the world nothing can disturb you just like it has become tree now strong tree no big tree no animal can come and disturb that so it is so strong enough like that shastra certain times says you drop this this is not required this is dukkha dosha darshan dosha darshanam says dukkha misritam all for what purpose to create vairagyam in you and to create viveka in you to create a mind focusing mind into shastra for that purpose shastra says later once you are uh, have mastered the subject understood then you janak maharaja like <laughs> కృష్ణ గృహస్థ జనక మహారాజ గృహస్థ యాజ్ఞవల్క గృహస్థ మ్యాక్సిమమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ అవర్ ఋషీస్ వర్ గృహస్థాస్ దే ఫర్ గృహస్థాశ్రమ ఈజ్ నాట్ ఏ ప్రాబ్లమ్ యు కెన్ బి ఇన్ గృహస్థాశ్రమ బట్ గృహస్థ గృహం షుడ్ నాట్ బి దేర్ ఇన్ యూ యు కెన్ బి ఇన్ గృహం యు కెన్ బి ఇన్ ద హౌస్ బట్ హౌస్ షుడ్ నాట్ బి ఇన్ ద మైండ్ ఓకే that is the correction we have to do ourselves so na drishehe dvaita yoga ha asti drishi atma is satyam paramarthika satyam 
dvaitam is vyavaharika satyam it is lesser order of reality so therefore how it can have a sambandha a waker um, and dreamer cannot have a sambandha dreamer so dream money and waker cannot have a sambandha like that here also yogaha sambandha na asti who said lord krishna said kshetram is observed kshetragnyah is the observer observer is always observing the kshetram ahankara also observed by me <coughs> simple shloka now we'll go to 44 अधुनाथोपसंहारिध्यमनात्मक मोहमूल सुदुर्बोधम द्वैत युक्ति thank god these today's shlokas are not very much difficult sometimes some shlokas are very 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 naughty shlokas but today you can manage very easy nice simple shlokas so you also can enjoy totally so now atma ahankara viveka he is doing shruti smruti examples uh, Examples means quotations over. Now yukti dwara also. Aduna now. Prakritartha ha upasam hara ha. Prakritartha ha means um, this is forty fourth sloka. Sambandh hoti connection between the previous verse and this verse. Prakrita artha ha means the topic under discussion. Prakrita means present now. अर्थ उपसंहार द टॉपिक अंडर डिस्कशन आई एम गोइंग टू कंक्लूड अधुना नौ सो ही इज कंसॉलिडेटिंग द कंक्लूडिंग द दट आत्म अनात्म विवेक और आत्म अहंकार विवेक अनात्म विवेक एंटर सूक्ष्म शरीर इज अनात्म बट इन दट पर्टिक्युर्ली he is taking ahankara why ahankara only that alone is the cause an enlightened ahankara is a, a blessing a, a bliss an enlightened ahankara is a, a samsara okay evam etad hiruk gneyam another new word he is introducing here what is the new word hiruk sandhi etad hiruk gneyam etad dhiruk gneyam etad evam plus etad plus hiruk hiruk h i r u k hiruk means um, distinct bhinnam ityartha distinct or bhinnam the dvaitam is distinct may you know distinctly may you know may you know the dvaitam ahankara i told you dvaitam means ahankara in the previous verse 43 now dvaitam alone is ahankara may you look at it distinctly from atmanaha atmanaha is in the second line last word atmanaha etat etat means this ahankara hiruk gneyam may you understand may you know this is different from atma not only that mithya siddham anatmakam lot of adjectives he is giving to that ahankara mithya siddham anatmakam moha moolam 
सुदुर्बोधम द्वैतम सो दट द्वैतम एतद् द्वैतम यू कैन टेक हियर आलसो दिस द्वैतम इज देयर इन द सेकंड लाइन एवं एतद् द्वैतम एतद् द्वैतम यू कैन टेक आर टेक द सेकंड लाइन अप टू युक्ति भी एज सेकंड सेंटेंस सो फर्स्ट सेंटेंस इज लाइक दिस एवं एतद् हिरक विनयम आत्मनः मिथ्या सिद्धम अनात्मकम मे यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस अहंकार इज मिथ्या मिथ्या मींस इनएक्सप्लिकेबल व्हाट एवर इज इनएक्सप्लिकेबल इज मिथ्या दे से द 95 परसेंट साइंटिस्ट सेस 90 परसेंट 95 percent is dark matter. We do not know what it is. Only uh, 96 percent dark matter. They say 4 percent only uh, we can do analysis by data something. Lot of uh, research and all we can do 6 percent. That 6 percent is also what they say inexplicable. So many things are. Inexplic inexplicable world is Maya. That's what we are telling. That inexplicable alone is called Maya. But if I you Jiva are born, they cannot give answer. Science cannot give answer. Uh, only Shastra gives answer. Karma, Janma, Janma leads to Karma. Karma leads to Janma. So Prarabdha when it fructifies, it gives birth. Then uh, How this karma comes first karma or first janma? No. Don't ask first janma, first karma. There is no first karma, first janma. If you ask like that, we will put a counter question. What is that counter question? Seed first or tree first? Which has come first? Na no. tree first or the seed first? Seed has come first. How seed has come without tree? No, 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 no. Uh, tree only has come first. How tree has come without seed? Can you give the answer? If you are able to give the answer to that, we will give the answer. You cannot give answer for that. Hmm? In Tamil, they say, "Tenga ya, tenna marama, koli ya, mutta ya." Na, egg has come first, or hen has come first. Hmm? What you answer you can give? That's why keep quiet. Understand and study shastra. Really, which has come first, whether it has come or not, later you see. Don't ask. Hmm? Now, without studying shastra, people always interested in asking question. What is karana sharira? What is karana sharira? I can understand stola sharira. I can understand sushma sharira. Some extent, some extent. They say, then what is karana sharira? Karana sharira. We have to understand. We have to study ten years shastra. अब टेन इयर्स स्टडी अवपम वो कोपम कोपम वो ऐसा कष्ट ऐम ए इंटलीजेंट ब्रिलियंट फेलो वै टू स्टडी टू अंडरस्टा कासल बाडी टेन इयर्सा सूमा ब्लफ ब्लफ नहीं पढ़ी पारना इन स्पैट आफ स्टिंग तत्वबोध वेदांत सार सो मेनी टाइम्स कारण शरीर कारण शरीर अगेन द डट विल कंटिव तत्वबोध कारण शरीर किं अविद्या अनिर्वाच्य लाइक दट गो आंटेलिंग अनादि अविद्या निर्वाच्य इन पुरी अनादि वाट तेरिया अविद्या तेरिया अनिर्वाच्यम तेरिया सो अंत वर्ड्स पुरीक टाइम आगे अद्क पीपल नीड लाट आफ टाइम क्वालिटी मैं The learning jignasa should be there. That is uh, lacking in shallow-minded people. So what to do? We cannot uh, do anything. They have to study. So all uh, people are genius. They are able to understand this truth because of hard work. Hard work. And people used to go to those days study it. All these under Kaila Sastram, you have to walk all the way to. What Rishikesh? Uh, no trains, nothing. There was, and people used to go there and asking, please begging like from those acharyas. 
uh, and sitting, sitting, whatever they give food. It even today, even you go to Kailash Ashram, what a simple food they give and free teaching. You know, Kailash Ashram is a big ashram, oldest ashram, Madhvaita ashram. It is a big teaching is going on there and uh, all these people come all over India, all over the world, they sit and study all these shastrams. Namak ingen online okarndi, fan ki da okarndi. You can lie down also because all are in not video also. Which position you are sitting, I do not know. Where you are sitting, whether sitting or also, I am not blaming you, anything, criticizing, anyway. I am telling just how easily available this shastra nowadays at your own place without going anywhere. And because of this COVID, and we are sitting in front of that, oh, what, iPad and phone, device, you know, device which is on the, everybody is listening from different countries, they are listening now this class. Hmm? And I come to know that uh, some students are uh, calling me from London, from Australia, from USA, hmm? from different uh, states, people are listening to the class. So, the, if you listen wherever you are, whether you go there or you listen here, how far you are a real mumukshu alone is the criterion. I am a Tevra mumukshu, that is important. I want to get this knowledge in this birth itself. That is the desire. Any difficulty, any sort of inconvenience I will um, surpass, I will um, go beyond. I will not uh, stop my study. Hmm, that much interest is required. Burning desire for knowledge. So in Bhagavan, you have to thank Bhagavan. This much convenient way of studying Aishkirmas, the online class, Bhagavan, what a punyam I have done. So, people are not getting the teaching. Very difficult. Uh, to get the book is difficult, getting teacher is difficult, even teacher is there. To study is also difficult. So, durlabham, that's what he is going to say here also. Durbodham. Okay, anyhow. So, what I want to say, those days learning Gurukulam, place and all those things, how much difficulties they faced, how many obstacles they used to face and see their sincerity, commitment in their studies. That is why that sincerity, commitment, desire, intense desire alone can bring transformation and assimilation. If they, it is not there, if hunger is not there, you cannot know the taste of the food. Hungry, you have to be hungry. Correct? Uh, doctor, doctor, please give me some tonic to be, get hunger. So you ask some people, they don't feel hungry. And they eat also, they don't like the food. But you see a person when he is hungry really, and the way he relish that food, all you know, items he relish that, the taste. Similarly, similarly here also, spiritual hunger. The spiritual hunger is there. And uh, there are some students, in spite of that physical inability, I know some students here in the class itself now, uh, in spite of their physical illness, tremendous illness, but they are highly focusing on the subject. I am very happy. I am proud of them. Hmm? My classes, online classes, some students, from long time they are listening. In spite of body sickness, they are not, they are not disturbed by that body sickness. Amazing. Their complaints are also not ordinary complaints they have. Very, very, very critical complaints they have. Unable to sit that also. Their mind is so powerful. Their subject, the way they are focusing, really, um, by God's grace and uh, their Shraddha, really I appreciate them. 
so that type of uh, interest is there shastra is like a halwa <laughs> so sweet you can relish then he says look into the shloka so i <laughs> lose the track of my sometimes it goes like that sometimes only not often okay mithya siddham anatmakam this dvaitam is mithya siddham already gaudapadacharya said in uh, mandukya also even brihadaranyaka uh, vartikam also it is uh, said that shloka is uh, very beautiful uh, in brihadaranyaka vartikam what he says <coughs> दर्शन से अविधेयत्वादुपयो विधीये वेदाश्रवण युपायस्तर्क सो ब्यूटिफु श्लोक इन बृहदारण्यक वार्तिक वार्तिक अपॉन द शंकराचार्य भाष्य आन बृहदारण्यक दिस् वार्तिक सो वेर एवर यू कैन नाट गेट द क्लारीटी अबउट शंकराचार्य भाष्य more clarity is there but sureshwar acharya uh, this in vartikam bhridharanyaka vartikam it is very beautifully presented that is what he says uh, this yukti here used that is upaya used there vartikam in that vartikam that's why i am connecting that shloka here et evam etadhi hiruk etad hiruk gneyam mithya siddham it is already established by me as a mithya unreal mithya means beyond comprehension ityartha beyond comprehension beyond your control <coughs> but it is logically undefinable yukti vihi sudurbodham dvaitam second line you can take moha moolam then why anatma it is non self you have already said it is non self anatmakam who ahankara ahankara is non self anatmakam mithya siddham it is incomprehensible it cannot be comprehended beyond comprehension that means what comprehension means what you cannot say it is there also you cannot say it is not there also that's why mithya word very difficult to understand for normal people to understand mithya itself you have to study length of time a dream is there or dream is real or unreal if it is totally unreal you would have not experienced if it is uh, totally real you have to experience that dream money dream thing what are all you have experienced you have to experience after waking also if they are real come on tell me ah shastra is telling talking about mithya mithya and all what is this i am not able to follow come on tell me your own dream can you say it is real can you say it is unreal satchet <laughs> Hmm? if it is real na badhyata it would have not be negated by me after waking up after waking up i would have not negated my dream oh my dream is real only i would have said but i am not telling like that dream is unreal everyone knows asachetna pratiyeta if it is totally unreal i would have not experienced correct i have experienced at the same time it is not real that is called mithya that is why in viveka chudamani shankara acharya said sannapya sannapya bhayatmikano bhinnapya bhinnapya bhayatmikano sangapya nangapya bhayatmikano mahadbhuta nirvachaniya roopa beautiful shloka so maya is what anirvachaniyam inexplicable incomprehensible just like your dream what you can talk about your dream you cannot say it is real you cannot say it is unreal sadasad vilakshanam neither sat nor asat whatever is sadasad vilakshanam other than sat other than asat it is neither existent nor non existent 
whatever is neither existent or non existent that is called existence non existent <laughs> entity that is called maya that is called mithya similarly here also the entire whole universe is an appearance dvaitam is an appearance experientially real in mandukya we saw elaborately gaudapadacharya presented this so elaborately experientially real but on enquiry on analysis it uh, disappears therefore it is uh, experienceably real but it is uh, not absolutely real therefore it is seemingly real it is seemingly real that is called mithya that is called a mithya so gaudapada charya challenges i told you the word point um, if anatma ahankara is the part of atma really better to close the book naishkarma siddhi better not to study vedanta go and enjoy in the world whatever you want to enjoy you need not come to shastra if ahankara is really a part of atma if it is suppose suppose there is no point of studying shastra not required but uh, hankara is not part of atma people have mistaken themselves as a hankara anatma hankara they have superimposed upon themselves upon themselves what lakshyartha chit satchit ananda swarupam and they have forgotten and taken the atma anatma ahankara as themselves because of that only mbbs i told you mbbs miserable misery boredom burdensome struggle all will come therefore just correct 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 hmm? correction correct means what correction so gaudapada challenges all um, other systems uh, Uh, he, uh, he says all other systems you want to defend the world is real come on defend uh, we want est- people all other systems of philosophies want to establish the world is real world is real gaudapada says you people thousands of people you come lakhs and crores of people you come and argue you cannot establish the world is real that is the knowledge गौड़पादाचार्य शंकराचार्य गुरुसुगुर गौड़पादाचार्य वार्तिकारिकास हु रोट कारिकास ऑफ गौ मांडुक्य उपनिषत् ओके सो देन वै दिस मिथ्या जगत वै दिस प्रॉब्लम वेन इट इज नाट रियल वै पीपल आर् आल इन डैलमा वन कंफ्यूशन वै दिस मोहमूल it is the because of delusion mohaha moolam karanam moolam means karanam delusion is the cause mohaha moolam karanam yasya bahuvrih samasa moha moolam why people are taking this ahankara as real world as real bhranti why it is an because of delusion why delusion because of ignorance why ignorance and mother is asking yesterday swamini garu swamini gar telugu student my son is asking uh, why uh, there is ignorance in vedic heritage class sunday mornings i said uh, ignorance remove ignorance and knowledge i was talking uh, any ignorance about anything i was talking and that boy was asking his her mother uh, amma why ignorance has come why there is ignorance why there is ignorance and then uh, she could not answer i said i asked her you tell your son hmm, why chemistry ignorance is there is there any answer you don't have chemistry knowledge that's why you are going to a chemistry teacher you don't have a computer knowledge you have you are going to a computer teacher are you asking that ignorance when self ignorance it comes people ask why is there is self ignorance why bhagwan kept self ignorance in us 
but they never question the chemistry ignorance. Why there is chemistry ignorance in me? Why there is uh, physics ignorance in me? Why there is computer ignorance? Are you asking? You are not asking. Happily going and searching for your professor and paying lot of money and studying to remove your ignorance. Then when it comes to Atma, people just question like that. What? Why self-ignorance is there first at all? At all? <laughs> at all, Anna? Why physics ignorance is there? Mathematics ignorance is there? Is there any answer? Like that here also. We are all born with self-ignorance. But you need not perpetuate the self-ignorance lifelong. Born with self-ignorance is not a crime. Nourishing the self-ignorance throughout life is a great loss. Okay. Born with ignorance is not a problem. You can remove your ignorance. Don't die with ignorance. Born with ignorance, self-ignorance is not a problem. Dying with self-ignorance is a problem. Okay. Therefore, <laughs> moha moolam, delusion is the cause for this dvaita darshanam, dvaita satyatma darshanam. Sudur bodham dvaitam. You cannot explain about this dvaitam. Sudur bodham. Difficult to grasp this dvaitam duality. This world is... A question will come. Atma bhinnam va abhinnam va. Is it different or non-different? Is this world is different from me or non-different from me? Can you say it is neither different nor non-different, neither identical nor uh, non-identical. So, you don't know the answer, that's why you are telling like this. Hmm? People consider like that. No, we know the answer, that is the answer. What is the answer? The Sudur Bodham, difficult to grasp, what? Dvaitam Yukti Bihi it is uh, through yukti, just kevala yukti you cannot grasp. What is this Brahadaranika um, Vartikam he said, you see, Yatnadu upayaha tarkaha tarka evacha shruti sammata tarka dvara Yukti you have to use, reasoning you have to use, shruti sammata tarka. So shruti statement he has given in 42. And uh, Smruti statement, Gita, Bhagavad Gita statement he has given. So without Shruti and Smruti, just for argument sake, logically I want to know, logically I want to know, people say, why was you, Kevala Tarka, that logical, logical thinking, people really, this is a great Mahapapam, some obstacle is there. Without looking into Shastra, studying Guru and all, they have oh, hundreds of questions. With obedience, they never go to a guru and bend and do namaskara and study. They don't study. That's intellectual arrogance. And they want with that brilliance, because little by birth they are so brilliant, suppose. <laughs> and the reasoning matra putchindi. That's why Yamadharma Raja also scold all Naisha, Tarkina, Mati, Rapane, Ya. Those who, no, I don't want to be religious, I don't want to study Shastra, I don't want to um, accept Veda, Shastra and all, I want to know. What you can know? Only Kevala Tarka, Yukti Bihi, Kevala Tarka is not pos possible, you cannot know. Shruti, Smruti, Yukti, that is important. You can understand Dvaitam, Shruti bhihi, yukti bhihi, sudur bodham. Kevala yukti, kevala logic, you cannot know. Logically also, you cannot explain. But uh, along with uh, uh, shruti support, make use of that yukti. You can make use of yukti. It's not wrong. Making use of yukti, we encourage. But not without shastra. Okay. Next uh, shloka, 
नेक्स्ट पेज फोर्टी सिक्सटी थ्री कुतो मिथ्या सिद्धत्व द्वैत चेत वै मिथ्या सिद्धत्व द्वैत वै द्वैत द ड्यूलिटी वाट एवर वी आर सीयिंग हौ यू आर ए टेलिंग दट ईज मिथ्या दट ईज मिथ्या सो जगत आत्म भिन्न वा अभिन्न वा मीन दिस वर्ल्ड ईज ईज इट डिफरेंट फ्रम दट आत्मा आर् नॉन् डिफरेंट फ्रम आत्मा This is world is mythya. It is inexplicable. Its uh, reality you cannot establish. Either it is real or totally unreal. You cannot establish. We said. So um, even in Advaita Makranda also Shankara Acharya says, "Nahi bhana trite satyam." Why it is mythya? Siddhatvam. Dvaita sya iti chet. If you ask, because. dvaitam doesn't exist independently without the observer whatever you see any object observed by you presupposes the observer self evident consciousness is required so that whatever is observed by me that is mithya drishyatvat agama paitvat we have said many things so that is the law the existence of anything is proved only when it is knowable so the whole thing is knowable to the knower the knowable presupposes the knower who is the knower i the consciousness am knower so the knowable is not the really when we say mithya Uh, two things are there satyam is there mithya is there don't say that <laughs> the final climax answer is this i don't want to put in suspense actually mithya mithya anatma hankar what we are saying it is not there really atma alone is the observer atma alone i the atma alone am the observer i the atma alone am the observed also how na just like in dream i the waker alone the dreamer dream world i the waker alone the dreamer and dream world it is not separate from me it is not there without me similarly mithya can never exist rajju sarpa rope snake is there can you talk about mithya sarpa because mithya sarpa is nothing but rope only what we are talking anatma mithya 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 anatma it is nothing but only atma you have superimposed that's all that's what he says just i'll introduce this shloka na prithag jnana mat na prithang न पृथंगनात्मना सिद्धि आत्मनोन्य वस्तुन आत्मवत्कस्तस्मात्हंकारादिरात्म सो एव्रीथिंग इज कल सूपर इंपोजिशन सो स्वस्टेक सूपर इंपोज अपॉन द रोप snake is mithya when you say there is uh, uh, snake is there or not there again it is also anirvachaniyam inexplicable that is why it is mithya you cannot say it is there or not totally it is superimposed because of moha moolam that's why he says here uh, so the criterion here is for existence of mithya vastu the knowability is the criterion number 1 so and the knower is the observer atma any object you want to talk it must be knowable at one point of time at one place sometimes to someone in at some place 
without that uh, no or you cannot talk about any object in the world you cannot talk about anything so the no or alone proves that the existence of anything in the world that is why whole world is depending upon me the atma that is the idea presented here we'll see in the next class पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादाय पूर्णमेवावशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं